What is up everyone, StonePost34 bringing you a new series. Uh, before I forget, click up in the right hand corner, that's my challenge series. I still have several more of those to put up and if you have any ideas, please feel free to jump in and give us uh, the ideas. Basically what we've done is some shotguns only, search and destroy, four minute TDMs on ground war, just some crazy stuff trying to not necessarily kill whore but try to beat uh, our record and see what we can do. Uh, anyway, this new series is how to be exceptional. And for you guys that are new to the channel, um, you know, I'm 37. That sounds weird to say. <laughs> uh, I own my own company, two great kids. I mean, I don't know any parents that wouldn't say they don't have great kids. Uh, married, um, have several investments, and I, that'll be part of the series later on. I'll share with you what I've done and, and how to manage money, uh, which I would consider being exceptional. Uh, but what I want to share with you today is advice that my father gave me very early on. I, I, I had my first job when I was 10 or 11. Uh, it doesn't really apply to this job, but he told me early on, Greg, he said, if you want to be successful, be good and do, not just be good, but do the things that everyone else doesn't want to do or hates to do. And I've had numerous jobs. Um, so what he meant by this is, you know, if you... If you just do what everyone else does, you won't get noticed. They'll just say, oh, you know, Greg, he's one of those guys that, you know, he shows up to work, does what he's told, but he doesn't go out of his way to do, you know, go above and beyond. And if you don't, if you do what everyone else does, you'll just be part of the pack. You'll never get noticed. So, for example, my first job, I, I did retail. I worked at Kmart through high school and college. And we had several jobs that people despised, they hated, they didn't want to do. And the first one was going out for carts. You know, we'd run out of the, in front of the store, we had all these carts, people come in, grab a shopping cart, fill up their cart, take it out to their car, and they leave it out in the parking lot. And so, uh, you know, I had to go around, pick up all the carts, and even on an average day, it was a lot of work. I mean, I'd go, you know, 300 yards away from the store to the farthest end of the parking lot where some guy parked his new car and didn't want it to get dinged, but he'd leave a shopping cart out there. So I had to go get it. And to this day, I return a cart. I will. I swore to myself one of these days I was out gathering carts that I would never leave a cart outside of a cart corral or I'd bring it back in the store um, to this day. Uh, so, you know, this job everyone hated and they'd call it up and they'd say 1,000 out for carts, which meant who, you know, a stock man or someone who was available, please come get carts because the customers were coming in the store. I would go every time, every time. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. And, and then at that point, people knew I was that guy, which is fine, but I stood out. People remembered me. Uh, the manager, you know, had given me numerous compliments. The other job we had was we had a baler, which is like a, uh, where we put all the cardboard because we recycled the cardboard. It was a baler, it was this huge monstrosity. It looked like two big trash cans together and you'd break down boxes and you'd throw it in. And then um, the baler would come in once it got filled and wrap steel wires around it and then tie them. Well, to get this unloaded, it, it just took it took a lot of time, but you had to uh, get the forklift, uh, put it underneath, un open the baler, drop it out, take it outside, and it, it, it took 20 minutes and it was physical labor. So everyone hated doing this. And I just decided, you know what, I'm going to get good at it. I'm going to be the guy that does it. And I did. And, um, you know, that, that was a job where I had the manager asking me at age, let's see, I was 17, 18, 19, 20, if I wanted to get in the manager program. I'm like, hell no, I don't want to work retail the rest of my life. This is just a job. But he was talking about that, getting into the retail management at, you know, 18, 19. I didn't want to do it. Um, you know, the other thing is I, I took a job uh, after college doing uh, real estate management. And when I did this, I was basically, I worked for a, a traded company on the stock exchange. We had 31 properties. Now, the thing everyone hated to do there was all the accounting. And um, I still don't like accounting very much to this day, but I do it. So we had to, all this accounting that had to be done. And it was tedious. Well, um, what happened is, this was before internet was really strong. We'd have to bundle together all our bills, send them to the home office in North Carolina, and North Carolina would send out the bills, uh, or send out the checks to pay the bills, which sounds pretty easy. But what would happen is, um, when these came in, they would be, uh, you know, 
by the time they sent out the checks, maybe a month had gone by, three weeks. So everyone got messed up on their budgeting. They didn't realize, oh my gosh, we haven't paid this. I thought I paid it, but you hadn't paid it because home office hadn't sent out the check yet. So I devised an accounting. It, it was through Excel, and then later uh, I worked with one of the IT guys. We designed this um, software through uh, Fox Pro, I believe is what it was called, that would allow managers to input invoices rather easily, have a, a ledger of all these invoices paid, and then that would kick it out to a line item. This sounds really boring, but <laughs> everyone hated doing it, would kick it out to a line item and automatically let them know on a daily basis where they were on you know, budgets for asphalt repair, or, uh, cleaning restrooms, or um, electricity. Just little things like that you don't really think about and kept people from going over budget. I won a huge award. I was like 22 years old and no one had thought about this, but I just thought, you know, this, there's an easier way to do this. And, uh, I did it. So, uh, I guess my advice to you guys is be good at the things that, you know, people don't like to do and you will stand out and you will be exceptional. And, uh, I guarantee you will get noticed it may stink at first, but just be good at it, and uh, you will do well in life. So, guys, let me know. Leave a comment if you like this series. I've got some things I want to talk about as far as investing, um, how I started my own company, and how I got uh, where I am today. So I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, take care as always. This is Stone Post 34. Accomplished. Nice job.